Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to save a drop down yes, no value into a database in Bubble. So to start with, let's go to our app and we'll kick off with the design. I might just delete this uh, to start with. So we can start from scratch. Let's have a look at our workflows. We can use that there as well. Um, great, all right, so first thing we'll do, we'll start off with our data. Important thing to understand uh, when we're gonna be saving some data, if we go to our data types, let's remove this to start with. If I'm gonna be using, uh, I'm gonna use the user data type here and edit that value here. Important thing to understand though, when you're running your application is you need to be logged in or signed up and logged in in order to save any data onto that data type. So I'm gonna create a couple new fields here to match my form. I'm gonna to add a name. I'm gonna get a text value. So that's gonna be mapping to this name input here. And the next one here I'm gonna create is an attending one. And this one here is gonna be a field type of yes, no. So in coding terms, this would be called a Boolean, which is a true false value. <clears throat> In Bubble, they call it just yes, no. So click here, I'm gonna save it. Okay, perfect. So if I go back to my design, let's now add in our yes, no input here, which is the drop down input. To start with, let's go drop down A, that's fine. Choose an option. Placeholder, choose a value. Um, we're gonna start with static choices for this one here because it's gonna be a simple yes, no. And what you have to do is put yes and no on different lines in this one here. And also I'm gonna click the input should not be uh, empty as well for some validation. So if I have this one here to start with, let's go to our app, let's give it a refresh. How's it looking? Perfect. The next thing we're gonna look at doing is going to our workflows. Uh, so if I actually want to save these values, you need to do it from a workflow. So if I didn't click on the send button here, start and edit our workflow. When this button is clicked, I'm going to add an action. I'm going to do, go to our data on here. I'm going to make changes to a thing. And so the thing to change is going to be the current user. Now rem remember what I said, you have to be logged in in order to be editing the current user. So it's just a trick you need to understand there. Um, First thing we'll save is our name and map that to the name input and the value of that. And then usually when you are uh, uh, editing forms, you can uh, change multiple fields at the same time. But for drop downs, you've got to uh, create new action steps as for each uh, different type of scenario. So I'll just leave that one here for now. Let's add a new action, go to my data, make changes to a thing. I'm going to be editing the same current user. If I click here, attending. Now, attending, we're going to go for the yes scenario to start with. And then we need to go down to the only when. So this is our conditional statement here. So only when, go to drop down, choose a value. Value is, and it's just type in manually, yes. So this is going to be the first scenario that we can save to the database. Next scenario is going to be our no scenario. Let's go to data, make changes to a thing. Current user. Oh, attending equals no. Only when the value is no. And then finally at the end, let's just uh, reset the data on our element just to reset the inputs to show that it's been sent just to give us a little bit of user feedback at the end okay so let's test out the uh our app here and see what we get let's first of all we'll look at our data app data here so we haven't got any data in at this point so what we're going to do now is first of all let's sign up or something here so test if we, uh, oh, come. Sign up. Looking good. So we're logged in. And let's save a value here. And we'll send the RSVP. Let's reset the data. So let's now go check our database.
looking good so i've got the attending scenario yes for, so the attending scenario for yes is working our name here is working here let's now try another one here to edit this value let's try or no let's just see if that works it's just going to rewrite the data for that same user let's refresh it Perfect, and that's working as well. So I hope that helps. Bubble can be a little tricky at times, but uh, in that scenario, all you need to know is just understand going to your workflows and setting up separate uh, different steps for each one there and using that only one scenario, that's gonna help you save those data values. All right, hope that helped you guys. See you in the next video.